Hi, I'm Natasha Williams and I'm a toxic relationship expert. And today I want to discuss why are toxic relationships so addictive? And you've probably watched a few videos, you've probably read some stuff, and maybe if you haven't, there's a lot of talk about trauma bonding and chemical um, hormones that get released in your brain whenever you go through cycles of drama. But what I actually want to focus on now is actually explaining to you more in the sense of how you lose your identity and that you put your identity in the eyes of what the other person thinks of you. Now, what happens when you're in a toxic relationship is whenever two people uh, meet each other, they want to become one. They want to unite. When you get married, the husband and wife become one. You become one as a family unit. But you still have your own separate roles. You still have your own separate unique abilities and your own strengths and weaknesses. There's the male aspect and the female aspect. When, however, you're in a toxic relationship, a narcissist only wants there to be one and it's not a we, it's a me thing. And when it's me, there's only space for one, and it's not you, it's them. So they want you to merge with them and become one, which is a reflection of who they are. And that is why they start attacking the way you dress, the way you think, the way you talk, because anything that doesn't fit in line with their ideal of what a perfect partner should look like, and it could change from day to day, just so you know, means that that part of you has to be completely annihilated. And so you have to suppress parts of you and stop having your own ideas on things. You cannot uh, have your own uh, expression. You can't voice. A lot of my clients say that I'm not able to speak. I don't have a voice because they don't want to hear what you have to say unless it's something that's going to add value to what they think they are and who you should be under that context. So what happens is slowly but surely you give up who you are. Now, because you are already a person that needs other people to like you, because you want to be loved by everybody, you don't want to be judged, you are very concerned about what other people think, and so you're always on your best behavior, you're always putting out to make sure that everybody else is being taken care of, and that means that your own needs come last. Now, when you're in a toxic relationship, it's even more highlighted. So you've gone and you've put yourself out for this person to the point that you don't even know who you are. You don't even know what you like. And maybe when you met them, you already didn't know. But if you've been in a relationship like that for quite a while, even the things you may have liked, you don't even like anymore. So you stop. You don't even have an identity anymore. And most of my clients, if I speak to them and ask them, what is it you like, they don't even know. So it's because this pattern comes from childhood. You've always had to go with what the group wants to do, what they like, so that you don't make any waves. And so because you've now fallen into under this person's rule, when you leave, you are literally, it's almost as if you've lost your identity. You are nobody. You, are, you don't have an identity. You've given so much of who you are to somebody else that you don't have anything left. And you're completely off kilter. You'll feel hollow. You'll feel empty. And it didn't matter how they treated you, they, that you had an identity. And this is why I think, personally, that it is so traumatic. Because you no longer have that. They will have taken you away from your support system. They will have taken you away from your friends. They will have stopped you having any hobbies or making any money of your own. Because any form of you being able to escape would mean that you might leave them. And so they need to control every aspect of your life. But it is almost, in one way, some people just like to be looked after. You know, it's quite flattering when you meet somebody and then they, they're protective and they're jealous. The problem is it's excessive. And the minute it becomes excessive, it's not healthy. But you have no say in it. So it might have come across as cute or maybe a, a nice characteristic until you realized how dangerous it actually was. And so you've literally lost who you are. Now here's the thing, you haven't lost who you are. You buried it so deep inside you that you need to go inside to go and look and find it. Now going inside also means setting up a life for you again. And, and what happens when a narcissist leaves is you suddenly have this feeling of emptiness and you're so off kilter that all you want is just to have that familiarity, you want that safety of knowing that person's there. And then come the thoughts 
that if I go and find somebody else, I'm going to end up with somebody else that's just the same. And so rather let me stay with the devil you know than the devil you don't. And that's the truth, because they are the devil. So you land up staying with this person thinking that I can somehow manage this because I can't manage even my own life when I'm without this person. And you've stopped having belief in who you are. You've stopped having self-worth because they've slowly eroded away your sense of self-esteem. Now, if you're watching this, it means there's hope. It means that somewhere inside of you, you've realized that there is actually a part of you that knows that you are worth more. There's a part of you that knows that this person is not the end and the be all and the end all of your life because you didn't grow up with this person. You, you met them when you were older. You met them even if you were a teenager. You were already at a point where you got yourself through life. You got yourself through school. And chances are you're probably quite very successful. You're quite good at what you do. So you'll have got award, awards at work or awards at school. And that's why they like you because you're a person who gets things done. So work with that. Work with the fact that these people are, it's like withdrawing from any kind of addiction. If you've made your life around smoking, everything that you do when you're smoking a cigarette, you're going to get in the car, light up a cigarette. You get out the car, you light up a cigarette. So you've been trained for the however long you've been in this relationship that everything you do is around the narcissist. So your whole brain is wired to be around what the narcissist needs. And suddenly when it's not there anymore, you feel like the rug has been pulled up from under you. So that's just another angle that I wanted to cover with you today. And I hope that you can see that. And I want you to understand that if you want to get out, you have to get out and you have to rebuild that life. It doesn't take the same amount of time that it took because the chances are there is still an area of your life that's yours. There's an area of your life that the narcissist has not touched. And every client that I've spoken to has had one area. So it might be in work where they don't interfere. Maybe it's in a family relationship where they don't interfere. There's somewhere where you've had an escape and that is going to be your starting point. That's going to be your sacred ground where you know they haven't had an influence in. Even if it's just not being able to access your thoughts and what is actually going on inside your head. And rely on that while you rebuild your life. And before you know it, you'll be a new person. And then you need to make sure you don't go and attract another narcissist. So make sure that you work on those underlying patterns so that you don't keep doing it again. But first and foremost, that is why you're addicted, because you cannot face life alone. I hope this helps you and uh, I'd love to hear from you. Please like, please subscribe and please comment so that I can reply back to you and I can give you more valuable information. I hope you have an awesome day and I'll chat to you soon. Goodbye.